Alright guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Epis Games. We're going to be talking about something for new players. Uh, yesterday we made a new alliance in our cluster and uh, we have a lot of new people coming in. So uh, for these guys, I wanted to help them out. Uh, what to, to farm basically, what to, uh, I just want to help them start up this game. Uh, that's why I made a new account actually, which is uh, going to run alongside these guys. I'm, uh, the new account is currently the alliance leader of that new alliance and I'm going to be using that as a guidebook, uh, so I also have an idea what these people are actually experiencing. So uh, this is going to be an account which I'm going to be playing alongside these guys. And uh, for this new account, I am going to try and go uh, into DD2 and DD3 as fast as possible uh, uh, by using certain characters that I think are awesome. This, so these car characters I'm going to be farming ASAP. But this video, we're going to talk about the stores. Uh, we're going to look at all the tunes that you can farm in the stores and basically what are the best picks and what to do uh, So yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's have at it. Welcome to the video and uh, please make sure to like and subscribe if you like this content Let's go and start All right, so first of all, uh, I'm playing right now on my main account just so I have all the stores available because my new account is uh, Very new. It's only level 25 at the moment of recording so uh, let's just go run through this. Uh, currently, uh, as you can see, uh, I have the orange gear in here. So as a new player, you don't get this in the beginning. You will get this later. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, farming uh, uh, gear from here if you need it. Uh, uh, we will go into more detail in that later. But for now, uh, I think this will do. So let's start off with the first actual store uh, we're going to farm characters in, which is the Blitz store. Um, yeah, uh, this is for war basically these these things and you have some gear here These are quite expensive for the for the credits that you have. I have a lot of blitz credits That's why I'm buying these because I need ABCs But for the rest from the blitz store, I wouldn't really recommend farming much uh, Comma because we're not done with this yet uh, There's there's three good tunes I, I feel like uh, here that you might actually need and there's also of course some extra tunes that you may need later in the game but uh, the way I see it, if you're farming uh, for uh, Sinister Six, you have to go and farm Rhino, which I think is a logical choice. You need them to get to level uh, of to 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 a seven uh, five stars. Uh, yeah, you need five stars to unlock Shuri and uh, uh, an Invisible Woman on him. And you can of course use other tunes, but let's for sake of argument go with Rhino here because he's in the original Sinister Six, which is one of the starter teams I feel like currently. Um, yeah, you, you farm Rhino here, basically. Um, so that's Rhino for the Sinus 6. You also can farm Gamora for uh, Guardians, unlocking Star-Lord. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend going Guardians these days. I would recommend going Wave 1 Avengers, but you still need a Cosmic team. So Gamora might still be a good pick here, so you can unlock uh, uh, Star-Lord uh, later. And of course, uh, Strife. Strife for the ML Rodders. And for the rest, uh, for the rest of these guys, I wouldn't farm them individually. So what you could do is you go here to orbs. And you see these blitz orbs. Uh, these contain all the characters in the blitz store plus Domino. And Domino is a part of the X-Force. Uh, so Domino, uh, oh, she's not in here. She's the 10% drop right now. So yeah, see Domino, five uh, shards of her. Um, definitely recommend uh, that you uh, farm these if you have... Uh, uh, if you are where you want to be with Rhino, Strife, and Gamora. Just open these orbs for the credits. I'll, I'll just open the few to show you what you can get. So they are, they are 350 uh, Blitz credits. I'm in the way. Yeah, there you go. Let's open these. I'm just going to open a few of them. So you see, you can just get to, get random characters from the Blitz store, basically. There you go. I, you see, I, guess I got five Rhino shards. I got some Crossbone shards. So I'm just going to open them until I get to, uh, to 20k uh, points. Uh, you get randoms, but uh, generally, over time, it will even out over the characters. So uh, you will, by by doing this, you will gradually get all the characters from Blitz Store to an adequate level. And if you want to f uh, specifically farm somebody, you pay more because you pay 500 credits instead of 350. So it's a bit more expensive that way, but you know what you're going to get. But that's the plus side of doing uh, doing a farm. Uh, from the store directly instead of doing these orbs. 
So in this, uh, I got 20 shards of Luke Cage, some uh, Ant-Man, some Rhino, Crossbones, Strife, uh, 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 The Thing, uh, Aim, this I think is, uh, I, I forgot his name. Uh, we have some uh, Mer guy, uh, Mantis, uh, and two Hydra guys, and uh, uh, Miles. Sorry that I don't really know the names right now. I'm <laughs> Everything's going well. <laughs> don't worry about me. All right, okay, moving on. So this, this I would recommend going for Blitz Orbs here. Uh, for the Raid Store, uh, I feel the Raid Store has a similar, uh, similar uh, idea as the Blitz Store. However, uh, I recommend you keep some of the credits on hand instead of what you can do in the Blitz Store is basically just go ham unless you're farming a specific character. Uh, we have a few good tunes in the Blitz Store and they are currently not showing up here. Uh, but some of you might want to farm Mysterio for the Sinister Six, uh, which is one of the characters you can get here uh, by uh, directly buying them. But you also have uh, Thor, he's also in here. He, he can also show up, which is one of the good characters I think you have to farm. Uh, Rocket uh, Raccoon for the Guardians team. Uh, Ronan, if you are uh, working towards unlocking Phoenix. And I'd say the rest is depending on what you want to farm for, uh, like Sabertooth for Emerald as well. But again, for this, uh, I'd say uh, just save up like 5,000 credits if you're farming someone. Uh, you might also want to buy some gear here. So just make sure you have a, like a steady supply of credits, like five to 10,000. And for the rest, just buy raid orbs. I'm going to open uh, open up a few of these just to show you what's in there. So we have Sabertooth, so you get, you get nine shards actually here instead of five. And it's a lot cheaper. Like uh, Sabertooth, five shards of him. If I buy it directly, it's 1400. And I just got nine shards, uh, what, uh, including five of Sabertooth for 900. 900, there you go. <laughs> so that's a lot cheaper. So I re really recommend opening these orbs if you're not farming someone. And currently in the game, I'd say go Wave 1 Avengers and go Sinister 6 as an opener. So you don't need any of these characters uh, uh, in the stores, except for the Sinister Six, basically. So just try to keep some, some credits on hand and then for the rest, open these orbs. I think that's the best way to do it. If you're farming, of course. Currently I have like, uh, I'm really close to getting these guys high up. So I don't need the shards anymore. So I'm mostly buying gear from this store. But uh, that's, I think it's for a, a mid to late game. Uh, that's a better option. Moving on to the arena store. Uh, this is quite interesting because the arena store doesn't have an orb and the kingpin orb just so you know it doesn't contain uh shards for uh, except for kingpin and kingpin isn't really a useful character uh he might have been useful uh, uh previously but he really isn't right now so uh, these are great if you need training mats if you need uh purple gear uh and you can even get some t4s in here but i really don't recommend you do this and open these if you're a new player or if you need to farm any of these yet i really recommend you get everything to seven stars or maybe six stars depending on what you uh what you need from here um before you start opening uh, kingpin orbs and maybe you need some training mats uh and then you can open a few of them but try to uh, try to get most of these characters done to a a, a point which is good. But let's talk about these characters because there are some good characters in here. Uh, Corvus Glaive is part of the Black Order. So unless you have access to Cull Obsidian, to Thanos, uh, Ebony Maw, uh, I wouldn't really recommend uh, buying Corvus Glaive from here. I have a Black Order team, so I'm farming him right now. But uh, if you don't have one yet, uh, especially Cull Obsidian because he's the hardest to farm. Uh, Ebony Maw is a legendary and Thanos is also pretty hard to farm. Because it's very late game. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend to get Corvus. Uh, and, uh, and of course you still have Proxima Midnight. She's in Do Doom War chapters. So that's also a very uh, mid to late game uh, 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 note that you can farm her from. So don't don't go for Corvus uh, basically. Unless you, uh, unless you have Black Order uh, ready. Or close to ready. Uh, then we have Blob. I'm not going to talk about Swarm. I think Swarm... Uh, uh, okay, let's talk about Swarm. <laughs> Swarm is part of the Sinister Six. Um, he's recently added to the to the arena store. Uh, I think the original Sinister Six is just as good with the original Sinister Six uh, instead of like slotting in Swarm. But what you could do is like get him just just to uh, to unlock him or uh, so you can try it and see it for yourself. But I think the original Sinister Six team which contains of Rhino, Vulture, 
uh, Green Goblin, Mysterio, and I'm missing one, which I can't come up with right now. What's his name again? I don't know. At least there's five, there's five. Uh, sorry about that, but it's not Swarm. <laughs> um, so it's not Swarm. But uh, then we have Blob. Blob is, uh, is part of the Brotherhood 2.0. Uh, you can f uh, farm him if you want to unlock Magneto. And Magneto is a 5 star unlock. So as you can see, I got him to 5 stars previously. And I'm not really working on him, on him anymore. Uh, Crystal you can use with Inhumans. And you need Crystal uh, at 5 stars to unlock Amity Maw. You don't uh, have to have Crystal per se. But uh, since Yo-Yo is really hard to farm, uh, it's better to get the Crystal from here. Then you have 5 Inhumans. Uh, Heimdall is part of the uh, Asgardian team, which you need to unlock Black Bolt, and is also a very good early uh, arena team and uh, raid team. Uh, so if you can get uh, your hands on Hela and Loki, you might also want to get he Heimdall from here. Uh, then we have Human Torch, he's part of the Fantastic Four. Uh, it's a good war team, I wouldn't really recommend to get him uh, as a new player though. Vulture, part of the Sinister Six, we talked about that previously. Uh, you need him as well for uh, for uh, unlocking Shuri, and you can also unlock Invisible Woman from with him if you have the full uh, if you have uh, enough uh, of the Sinister Six. Uh, we have Ambaku here. I wouldn't really recommend farming him early. Uh, he's part of the Wakandan team, which isn't really good, and it will only help you in one specific thing, which is the uh, uh, the uh, promotion credits, uh, which are which you can use for red star promotions. So I really, really wouldn't recommend getting him too soon. If you get lucky, you get him. That's fine. Uh, you might get some extra promotion credits over some other people, but I, it's not really that important at, at the moment for you if you just started. Juggernaut is uh, is great uh, as well. He's also part of the Brotherhood 2.0 team. Uh, you can farm him uh, as well for Magneto, unlocking Magneto. And uh, he's also nice uh, to have uh, for unlocking Hela, the Hela node because you need uh, Mystic Villain controllers for it. I'm not sure if you need all three, but that's uh, for Phoenix. Uh, he's not a controller actually, I think he's a protector. So you need Mystic uh, Villains for that. That's okay. All right, Mystic Villain. He's a Mystic Villain. Let's just keep it at that. He unlocks the Hela node. Excuse me for that. Uh, Hella Node is a villain 7 6, so that's pretty late. So, uh, unless you're working towards Magneto, unless you're working towards Hella right now, I wouldn't really recommend getting Juggernaut. Uh, Deadpool is nice for X Force, also unlocks Doc Ock, uh, X Force, a full X Force team at 5 stars. Skull of Witch you can use in the uh, ba -ba 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 Supernatural team, uh, as well as Mordo. Mordo is a Mystic Villain controller, so you need him for Phoenix. You don't specifically need him because there's six mix, uh, seven actually right now because Doom is also one. But uh, he's a Mystic Villain controller and you can use him to unlock Phoenix. And Phoenix is a six star unlock, just so you know. Uh, Drex is for the Guardians team. He's pretty good if you are going for Guardians. You will really, you really want to need uh, have him because he uh, is a good taunter. He has a pre-taunt, which is uh, with Red Guardian, one of the few uh, guys who do that in the game. Quake, I wouldn't really recommend farming Quake unless you're going for uh, for Ebony Ma and you need to, uh, you need to unlock uh, uh, her at five stars. So that's a pretty late game for now. Daredevil, uh, Defenders, I don't think you should go for, for Defenders. And the rest is minions. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend farming these right now because there's way better tunes for you to farm. So don't try to pick these up. Okay, that was a bit long for the uh, uh, arena store, but let's move on to the next one, which is the war store. Um, as you can see, I have a few good picks here. Uh, X-23 is a, a, gr a great character, but if you're, uh, I wouldn't really recommend going for her early because you need a full X-Force team to unlock Doc Ock. Uh, X-23 is, is a great standalone character as well, and she's good in PvP modes, but, um, the problem with the X-Force team is that Negasonic uh, Teenage Warhead is on the Doom War nodes and she's pretty late at that. So that's mid to late game until you can unlock Doc Ock. So I wouldn't, wouldn't really recommend going for X-23 early and you have way better places to use your 
uh, uh, very rare uh, war credits on in the beginning. Uh, one of the better ones uh, there is Sif, because uh, Sif, as you can see, she uh, she's an Asgard, Asgardian. So she uh, she helps on our Black Bolt, and she is also part of that great team, the Asgardians, a uh, great early team if you can get them. Some people will on them, and uh, they uh, they are uh, at the top of the arena shards uh, for uh, for quite a while before you start going uh, into uh, uh, the mid game. Uh, let's see what do we what do we have more here? Well, we have more characters, of course, in the War Store. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, random. So there's three slots for characters here, and they they pop up randomly. Uh, I can refresh and show you here. Oh wait, I need to click properly. There we go. Let's refresh, and now we get three new characters. So now we got Carnage, Nobu, and Graviton. Uh, Nobu has a note, so I really don't recommend you farm him from here because that's a waste of resources. Uh, Carnage is actually pretty pretty good farm because he uh, is part of the Symbia team, uh, which is a good raid team. Uh, however, uh, he's way better when he has Symbiote Spider-Man at his side, and Symbiote Spider-Man is only available from orbs at the moment. Graviton is good for aim. I don't recommend going for him, though. Aim is also pretty hard to get as an early player. It is still a good team, but by the time you're able to get them uh, and rank them up and level them up, I think they have been outpaced by other teams, but uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about teams more later in a later video, of course. I just want to let you know that I wouldn't recommend going for Graviton here. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, what did I miss? Let's see. Uh, Cable is also in here for X-Force. Uh, also think he has a node. Uh, we have uh, some minions, which are pretty useless. Pyro. Pyro is also part of the Brotherhood 2.0, so also for Magneto. Uh, we talked about that before. Uh, let's see. We have Mr. Sinister. I haven't talked about Mr. Sinister yet. Mr. Sinister is a great character. Uh, really, uh, really, really uh, recommend getting him with your war credits. At least try to unlock him with your war credits uh, while you work on the rest of the of the uh, war store. Mr. Sinister has a clone ability. He can clone enemies, which is really nice. Really helps you uh, if you gear him up. Uh, Mr. Sinister and Emma Frost together are insane and if you have the full Emma Rodos uh, with the Sabertooth added, with Mystique added and with uh, Strife added, you also have a really great team. So uh, depends a bit on where you are on Emma though. If you don't have Emma yet, uh, Mr. Sinister still has some value but he's a lot better with Emma and the rest of the team because they create a lot of value for him. Uh, I recently added uh, Minerva and Ghost. Uh, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure uh, if Ghost is in, but probably uh, uh, she will be soon if she isn't already. Uh, Ghost is um, is part of the Pimtech team, but I wouldn't really recommend getting the rest of that team. What Ghost does is insane. Uh, she has great abilities for Dark Dimension, uh, which is also uh, a thing I'm going to try and guide you towards in these guides. Uh, because I think Dark Dimension is one of the most important game modes uh, for uh, players to work towards. It's a great goal to work towards. And I'm going to set you guys up uh, with a great team for you to work towards. Uh, not only for DD2, Dark Dimension 2, but also for Dark Dimension 3. We're going to use the same team in both if possible. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and uh, work you towards that. Uh, so uh, the, the, the characters... Uh, my priority list, if you're new, is I'd say Ghost, then Minerva, then Mr. Sinister. And then you can get the others. Uh, I think Sif is also important. Depends a bit on what your plan is, your own plan. If you want to go for Asgard soon, get Sif as well, quickly, because I think that's also a good uh, good uh, uh, farm. Carnage is, imp uh, is nice if you have Symbiotes. Uh, but uh, again, those are pretty hard to come by right now for you if you're early in the game. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for the stores. Um, and of course, we have we still have the uh, the promotion credit store. If you have red stars unlocked, you can uh, promote with promotion credits. You can get these. Um, just a general tip here. Uh, don't uh, uh, upgrade uh, red stars for characters that you don't have stars unlocked for. So if you have like a, a five star tune, don't buy the six star red star upgrade because 
you might still get it from a regular red star and it would be a waste if you just previous already previously upgraded uh, it and, and you still need to farm towards that uh, promotion so try not to do that if possible because it will save you resources in the end um yeah i think uh i think that's it guys uh i hope you find find that interesting uh i think it's a it's a good way to uh, to give this information to you guys it's a bit of a deep dive uh if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask them in the comments thanks so much for watching uh yeah so make sure to subscribe as well uh, and like the video because it really helps me out and I want to thank you again and uh, hope, uh, hope we see each other soon. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye.